What's your name, please? Ma Maor Cohen. That's your rank? Sergeant Major. And now you're uh, enrolled? Are you enrolled in the IMPACT program? Today I was finished uh, my IMPACT scholarship program. I was honored to get a scholarship from FIDF from a, from a program called IMPACT. It allows combat soldiers with a hard uh, social economy background to receive to receive an, a, an, a scholarship in order to go to school. I was study law and marketing, and after I finished everything, I practiced law, and in the, in the end of it, I already understood that I wanted to have my own company, so I established a startup. So it's really exciting, because without FIDF and without their help, I was, wouldn't have the possibility and the skills to have my own business. So this is a, a, a place to say thank you for FIDF and IMPACT for all their help. What subject did you major in in school? Co before law. Ah, before law, communications. What, what, and what area did you specialize in in the army? I was in a commando unit called Duvdevan. It is an undercover unit uh, that we, we used to, you know, go into Arabic cities. Uh, so it was very interesting, very uh, special to do a lot of uh, interesting things during the army. You learn a lot about yourself, a lot about uh, what you want to achieve in life. And it was a very inspiring uh, time to be in the army. How did you learn to speak Arabic? Let's say that they teach us all we need to know. And your, your family, what's your uh, family uh, direction? Your heritage? My heritage, my, my parents both uh, birth, uh, born in Israel. Uh, my mother born in Tel Aviv, my, my father also. Uh, but their grandmothers born in uh, Morocco. Yeah. So did your grandparents speak Arabic? Yeah. Do your parents speak Arabic? They know also, yeah. I guess it helped you in learning it. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, you're right. What do you think about Israelis uh, coming to learn Arabic now? The government is making a, a point of teaching Arabic in the schools. What do you think? I think it's uh, important. I've, I lived in Berlin for three years and I speak German. Uh, I think that it's very important to every culture that you are involved with to know the language. The, not, the language is not something that you, you're supposed to be fried, frightening off or afraid of. It's something that it's connect between the people. So if you know Arabic, it doesn't mean that you need to use it for a bad thing. Uh, you can use it to a bridge between the people. And I believe that it's connect. I believe that it's something that you have to know. They live in our country, we live in their country. We need to be able to connect. Did you experience any anti-Israelism while you were in Germany? Actually, no. I used to work in the Israeli embassy in, in Berlin. And I, I worked as assistant of the Israeli defense attaché. And it was amazing because uh, we also there, we saw the, con the great connection between Germany and Israel. Of course that there is, you know, people in every corner, but uh, we, don't, we don't take the, the, side, uh, uh, the side people. We, we, when, we, when, we, when we look on the majority of the people, so yeah, they connected to Israel, they want to visit, they come to Tel Aviv, we come there, so they know Israel, they know the Judaism, of course, and the history.